Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about high-end makeup. Come and get ready with me and I'll tell you what products are worth your money and what makeup products to avoid. So let's get started. no high product reviews here on my channel so today I thought um, I do a get ready with me where I use only high-end makeup products so I want to make it clear that it's not luxury products like Chanel Dior not those really crazy expensive products have a little bit of a luxury product the um, Marc Jacobs so it is a little bit more expensive than usual but I think that's it everything else are pretty common from Sephora or Ulta so let's get started this is the Smashbox photo finish primer water I love this um, product and even if I have oily skin this product really helps with you know the foundation on the face helping it settle down on the face really nice and then I'm gonna go in with and comb um, tint idol foundation i like this because it has an spf already really full coverage foundation it's a 24 hour color wear and it's transfer resistant so i love that about it i think you can use this for special occasions like let's say for weddings because i remember this happened to me once i hugged someone at a wedding and my foundation transferred on their dress and it was so embarrassing and i felt so bad um but this one doesn't do that so i highly recommend this foundation i think this is a little too light for me at the moment in the color 380 bisque warm I have my beauty blender sponge beauty blenders are another crazy crazy super expensive sponge i wouldn't recommend it i think there are a lot of drugstore alternatives out there one of my favorite is the l'oreal beauty sponge this pink one right here you can find that at walmart or target when you do see me use a beauty blender sponge i mean usually i bought it at a sale or like a set where it comes with other things so if you can find some deals like that at sephora then go for it otherwise i wouldn't spend your money on this oh i forgot to put this on the cover fx mattifying primer great um primer that you put under your foundation. So I would add this on my T-zone, you know, the parts of my face that get really oily. So if you're oily, get yourself one of these. Next is concealer. I never go without a concealer. And my favorite is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. There's a lot of good concealers out there, actually, even drugstore. The reason why I stick to this is because it's very full coverage so it's perfect for those um, days where I need to cover something like my blemishes this does not budge like on a good skin day like today I actually don't have any blemishes on my face um, I wouldn't use this I would just use Maybelline fit me concealer and it does an awesome job it's the exact same color as my skin and I think that's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to it because once you find that concealer that's an exact match no matter what the color of your skin is or what the season is you know you want to stick to it highly recommend this but you know know that there are cheaper alternatives out there okay next is powder one of the most common powders that everyone owns is the translucent loose setting powder by laura mercier it's a very fine powder it's great for baking under the eyes it really helps with prolonging makeup if you're not sure whether you want to spend a lot of money on Laura Mercier's translucent powder you can actually try the travel size first it will last you for a long long time next is bronzer and this is the luxury one that I was talking about so this is the Marc Jacobs um, Omega bronzer in the color 102 tantric this is the true color of it right here when I bought this I used up all of the money I had <laughs> like christmas money like gift certificates and stuff to buy it and 
and I don't know if it's worth spending like I believe it was like around $50 it will last you forever that's for sure the problem that I have with this is that I feel like it's not dark enough so I don't think um, they have a nice bronzer for you know medium to dark skin tones from what i know at the moment i don't think mark jacob has come out with a darker color for their omega bronzer sometimes i feel like it doesn't even show up on my skin but it is buildable which is what i like so you can kind of start seeing that sunkissed glow on my forehead but i have to put a lot for it to show and so if you are kind of in the same skin tone as me if you're lighter i think this is perfect if you have the money for it um it's a very silky powder creamy powder great quality well-made powder but if you're like me or darker i probably would skip this bronzer until Marc Jacobs comes out with a darker shade. Next one is blush. In real life, when I do put on makeup, I use at least a combination of two blushes. And so I'm gonna give you this first one that I like, this Lancome blush. Really, really nice um, natural blush. So when I'm going for just a really nice bronzy look, this is it see how natural this blush is okay and then when i feel like i want a pop of color then i would use um becca split pan brushes not brushes blushes okay and in the color flower child just brightens up my cheekbones these are really really good quality highlighters so you get a blush and a highlighter so if you're that person you know that doesn't wear a lot of makeup so you don't really need to spend on a whole pan of blush or a whole pan of highlighter get this it will last you forever if you can get these split pans it's worth the money recently i bought kylie's blush in the color queen drip i love this because i don't think i have a champagne -y blush with a pink shift to it really smooth on the face I love the pop of pink that it gives me perfect color queen dread let's just get straight to the eyeshadow and this is new to me if you are a makeup collector you probably have you know 5,000 brown eyeshadows and you know 10,000 pink eyeshadows <laughs> you have a lot of um, similar colored eyeshadows but this one has pretty unique colors like this busy bee is like a peachy orange color sweet like honey again it's not an orange it's kind of like a muted orange right so i really really like that it has more of a unique color selection than the colors that you would normally find in other um palettes so if you're kind of you know bored with the usual colors that you have get yourself this kylie palette i'm just gonna zoom through this eye look for you and fast forward it okay see you guys back in a bit Okay, did a quick eye look with the Kylie Jenner palette and now I'm gonna use um, Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow in the color Kitten Karma. Oh my gosh. If you want glitter, this is it. The Kitten Karma is kind of like a champagne, goldy, silver. And so it goes with everything this isn't a full size guys but if you're like me who doesn't use glitter a lot this is the perfect size for you and it came together with the stila you know waterproof eyeliner which is a really really great eyeliner so i think i just got these for around 20 dollars at the nordstrom anniversary sale so it was a good deal is brows i have the anastasia beverly hills brows 
Okay, we're gonna zoom through this again. I like this Anastasia brow wiz because it just disperses the color um, really well. So you don't start off with a harsh dark color, you know, and it matches my eyebrows really well. It has a very fine tip where you can make hair like stroke. The shape and the type of formula um, is really great at creating those natural brows. The Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. I have a love and hate relationship for it, honestly. For the price, I'm just gonna say I don't recommend it. Um, the color is a little bit too brown, but that one can be adjusted. I picked the chocolate color. I probably picked the wrong color. But also, I feel like the brush is a little too thick for my eyebrows, it's hard to be precise with it. So, I don't like it, I'm gonna skip this one. For an eyeliner, um, my favorite at the moment is really e.l.f. Um, gel waterproof eyeliner. For high-end, I highly, highly recommend the Marc Jacobs um, highliner, their gel highliner. Or the Lorac, they both stay put on the waterline. The Marc Jacobs um, highliner is really good. It stays on forever. For the price, I feel it's really worth it. You don't want those eyeliners running down your cheeks, right? Oh my gosh, I forgot I've been baking for years. Okay, Milk Makeup Setting Spray. This is a blur spray and it sets your makeup. I don't know that I recommend this um, setting spray. It might be good for people with oily skin, which I do have oily skin, but it smells like alcohol. But you know what I really like about it is that it definitely has that blurring effect. Like it's filling up your pores, but I have to say, see that right here? Can you guys see that? It would have like white splashes. Maybe I need to shake this a little bit more, but I don't want to be bothered with that, you know? And so this is great for blurring and perfecting the face. I don't know that I'd want to use it on a day to day or really spend the money on it. How can I not include MAC on the high end list, right? I have MAC in the color Retro. I love this color. It's not too, too red. It's not too um, bright red and it's perfect for every day for work, you know, but it's bold enough for like a nighttime event or occasion. So I love that. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. A lot of people are really raving for this It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. When I first got it, it worked amazing. I mean, it lifted my eyelashes, it lengthened them, it gave me volume. But after maybe less than a month or so, it just started clumping up on me. I feel like for the price, it just didn't last long enough. It just became clumpy and thick and just did not give me the same results. So I'm gonna put it on anyways. This is expensive. I'm still gonna use it up, you know, up to that three, three month mark expiration. <laughs> For the price, I need my mascaras to last long. I mean, at least minimum three months. I don't know if I also got a bad bottle because the first couple of weeks that I was using it, it was really, really working for me. Hope you guys liked this video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope this will help you figure out, you know, what's worth spending your money on and what's not. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I post videos once a month. I do real good, honest product reviews that's not gonna waste your time. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!